Welcome back, good people, to another edition of As the Wheel Turns. As you can see, I am still on Final Destination Unknown, uh, you know, vlog day, right? Because I don't know where I'm going, but I got a crackhead in front of me that you see that I'm just tootling along behind. But I have managed to make it to 38 miles an hour, see? Because we found a bigger road. Another road to nowhere. Is that kind of like Sarah Palin's bridge to nowhere? Hey, I've seen bridges to nowhere before, so I don't know why they wouldn't want one in Alaska. As long as it's got an influx of money. You know how them senators are always wanting to do something that has zero benefit of anything but spending money that they didn't generate in their state. They, that's how they. That's how they do it. Bunch of sissies. Yes, I said it. They're all sissies up there in the Senate. <sighs> I know. I can't help it, guys. I can't run for Senate and be the, you know, a real man up there because I got too much dirt. I've been a bad boy, and, you know. And well, I guess if I was a Democrat, I could run for Congress or something, and or Senate, and. Well, same difference. Uh, well, not the same difference, but I mean, they're both Congress, actually. But two different branches. But, I, you know, if I was a Democrat, I could run for anything. I'm not going to say, yeah, I did that. Mm -hmm. But since I, I can't be liberal, I can be, can I be a conservative, and a, a liberal conservative? Because I am, a, that's how I am. I'm a liberal conservative. I'm conservative with your money and my money and things like that. But as far as anything else, as far as anything else, I don't care what you do or who you do it to or anything else. Oh. Hang on, I'm going to meet this vehicle on this... It doesn't say driveway, it just said no through trucks. So I don't know if this is a road or what. I might have to turn around and go back or something. Uh, because, you know... I guess if it was a private drive or a dead end, it would have said private drive or dead end. I mean, it's got good gravel on it, so I think it's... A road road to nowhere but since this is destination unknown day that's okay I'll just go out and honky-tonk around I, I would like to stop up here in a little bit and partake of some liquid refreshment no not the adult variety just the regular I got Gatorade in my Gatorade Zero. Don't say how bad Gatorade's bad for you. It, at least it's got electric lights in it. I also have a big bottle of water. So I'm okay, right? I got water and I got Gatorade. And oh, look at there. That, I wonder if somebody lives there. I, I used to have an uncle that lived in some stuff like that. And he was just the most nicest, wonderful guy in the world. He really was. But he wouldn't have indoor plumbing. He didn't... He had a hand pump in the kitchen. And he didn't have to live like that because he had a union job that paid good. I never understood that, except for I think it was just his choice. Hmm. I wonder if that crackhead's back there. Yeah, there's the crackhead. Oh my goodness. This, this gravel's different, you know? It, it, you gotta really watch out when you're riding on gravel. Oh, look at there. There's a pickup truck. I guess they just rolled it up in the field. Hmm. This is kind of like off-roading, right? With gravel. Except for you're not off-roading. There's no trees over over the road and no big ditches you gotta drag your bike through but there is the hazard of gravel which can be very dangerous <clears throat> the, the secret is not to make any sudden moves 
uh, don't break in a corner or you know or switching gears in the corners don't try not to do that just be easy that's what I say be easy well hello in there good people alright this gravel is very round gravel so it you can really feel it it's like marbles but we're going to keep on keeping on and if we fall over hell you'll be the first well you'll be the second to know alright <laughs> but uh, I don't intend on falling over but you know I, I only I got my helmet on all right, that's good. I got my helmet on. I got my gloves on. They're pretty good gloves. So, I'll be safe, right? I don't got no elbow protectors or shoulders or anything like that on, though. Because I'm just winging it today. Is this, that's a cemetery road. Oh, I shouldn't be on cemetery road. But, hey, we got, we got a little asphalt here. I'm feeling better about it. Might get my butt so far out in the sticks that I won't be able to find my way back very easy. I'll have to follow a stream. Try to follow the stream down downhill to find, uh, you know, a highway or a railroad trussel. I've ridden on the railroad before. It's not, it was pretty stupid, but I knew a train wasn't coming because I knew its schedule. That's not saying one couldn't come that didn't belong there. Look, it's some more. It's some more tobacco. It's burly tobacco. That's what that is. Oh, it's all kinds of it over there. Poor tobacco. It used to pay a lot of more money. Now that it's not subsidized, nothing should be subsidized ever. That's my opinion. No subsidies. That's why you don't want me probably in Congress or the Senate or anything. Because I, I would be lobbying to cut all subsidies. At least as much as I could. I just, that's the way it's supposed to be. My goodness, we found more gravel. What's this all about? See, I shifted down before I went into the corner. Uh huh. See, if I have vultures, vultures, if I had been leading the rat pack. We wouldn't be on this road. But we are on this road. Look at the damn dirty birds. Dirty birds. I heard a thing on the news about um, vultures that are attacking calves as the mamas are calving. That's what's called when a cow gives birth. It's called calving. All right. So, the vultures are killing the babies. And, uh, I don't know why you wouldn't just, if it was my field, I'd just go out there and shoot the crap out of the vultures, right? Took care of that problem pretty handily. But, apparently, some people think they have to go to the law enforcement and get an okay to kill a buzzard. Now, I'm pretty sure... But buzzards are varmints. I could be wrong, but I think they're varmints. And they, they don't, they don't, they, the varmint season is year round. That means things like coyotes and stuff like that. You can just shoot them anytime you want to. You know, as long, you know, you can't do it on your city street. But if you're out in that field and you so want to kill a buzzard. Now, I don't like to kill things I'm not going to eat. I get, well, I wouldn't feel safe throwing the buzzer to the hogs or anything, though, either, because they might have some kind of sickness. I don't, buzzards are pretty nasty. Now, I haven't ever been to a buzzard roost. I'm sorry, we're talking about buzzards today, but that's just where this went. So, we're going to go with it. I've never been to a buzzard roost, you know. I mean, I, they, they roost in trees, and... Um, but they move around, you know, this tree and that tree next week and that tree tomorrow. But they kind of circle back to the same area. 
But I did know a fella that said that that his buzzards, and this might have been a fishtail, always roosted in the same barn. Now they might do that if the barn is dilapidated and you know fall down and nasty and nobody's ever there. But he said that they have an ungodly smell. And I don't know if I believe that at all because most animals are clean. I mean, even skunks don't smell like skunks unless you scare them. Then all of a sudden they will smell like a skunk and so will you too. Yes, this will happen to you. It's happened to me. Yep. And I didn't even get squirted by the skunk. The dog did. Y'all want to hear about the dog and the skunk? All right, I'll tell you about it, all right? I was in Maryland, right? And I was in the, but it was like in the country in Maryland. And I was waiting to pick up. I'm, 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 in, I'm in the dock, actually, because they said I could go ahead and park there that night. And they let me in the gate and let me park there. That was really nice of them. Thank you, people in Maryland. But anyway, I had the dogs out for a walk. Grace is a pretty sweet little dog. She wants to kiss other animals. She wants to lick them. She wants to pat them. She wants to take them home and call them George. Or something like that, right? So anyway, I got her out. And it's a walnut. And then she... Grace, in Grace's eyes, she said, Oh, Daddy, it's a kitty cat. It's a kitty cat. Can I have the kitty cat? And this little kitty cat about this big was coming across from behind the dumpster walking across the parking lot. And uh, she, so she, she rushes up on the kitty cat. And she proceeds to kiss and lick the kitty cat. She's mothering it, right? She just, she just wants to mother it. And that's what she's doing. All right. So, well, oh, look, we're back at the road. We found the road. What a, what a wonderful experience. So anyway, she's licking the kitty cat. And the kitty cat keeps, it backs up two or three steps and, and looks at her, turn, you know, turns around and looks at her face to face and, and looks at her. And, and the kitty cat was, you could tell it was saying, look, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Grace rushed forward. She kissed the kitty cat some more. Right, she's licking the kitty cat. I was like, oh, Grace, get away from the kitty cat. Grace, get away from the kitty cat. The kitty cat's going to bite you, Grace. Get away, get away, Grace. But anyway, that kitty cat took it for about, for a good five minutes. And Grace wouldn't come away from it. It might have been longer than five minutes that, that kitty cat put up with it. I was very impressed with the kitty cat's uh, uh, patience with Grace. Well, after the, the patience wore off of the kitty cat, and from Grace going, the kitty cat turned around and squirted Grace square in the face because the kitty cat was a baby skunk. It was a terrible, terrible thing. Yeah, you know, a skunk can actually kill a kill another animal. It, it's if they can't breathe, they die, right? And it, it, it can put them in such a state to where they can't breathe. I don't think it happens very often, but I think it does happen. And it could happen. I know, because I was standing beside Grace when she got a face full of kitty cat love. And uh, luckily, I had a couple of containers of V8 in the truck. And I had some gallons of water. But let me tell you, for the next... Even after I gave her that emergency bath, and then the next day gave her another bath and another bath for several more days thereafter it was a very <sighs> uncomfortable thing because i could not she she actually like her nose and her eyes and her forehead and everything i got it off that first night pretty good but i could never get it out from her ears it took months and months for it to wear away so the moral of the story don't be a dick, dick. No, no, wait a minute. That's the wrong moral to the story. All right? The moral to the story is don't mess with little black and white striped kitty cats. Even if they do have patience and you want to take them home, well, if you do mess with them, you're going to get stinky. But I hear they do make good pets once you remove the stinky gland. Yeah, that's what I hear. Yeah, that was a fun.